Okay, hey guys, wanted to do this quick video to show you, um, okay, that's fine. Um, wanted, wanted to show you how I convert from PowerPoint um, to, sorry guys, let me go back. From PowerPoint, this right here, this is PowerPoint, from PowerPoint to Paint. So I just uh, fixed a document that I created for uh, reading for the kids for homeschool. So these are the reading questions right here. You can see them right there. And I can go ahead and zoom in for you so you can see what it says. So the first uh, reading question right here is, what is the title of your book? And then it's, did you enjoy reading the book? Yes or no? Why? And then how many pages did you read today? Who was the author? Who was your favorite character and why? Um, what was the book about? What was your favorite part of the story? What happened in the beginning? What happened in the middle of the book? And what happened at the end of the book? So I have um, all these reading questions right here. So I had this on a landscape. Um, I had it sideways, so it was landscape. So I ended up changing it to um, portrait. So what I did was I went ahead and came over here to design. And here on design, there's this um, little button right here that you press. It says page setup. So you go and you click here and this little box appears and then you would pick a uh, portrait or landscape. So I went ahead and um, put it to portrait. And so this is what I have. So all you want to do in order to... <laughs> You're welcome, Araceli. Okay, so all you have to do is you just right click on your mouse. So you're going to just click this button right here you're gonna right click and this little button is gonna this I mean this little box is gonna come out so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on copy okay so it's already copied okay and then you're gonna go and open up your paint so I'm gonna go and search for paint in my computer so hopefully you guys have paint and this is what paint looks like right here okay um, hopefully you guys know how to use that and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna go and put paste so this is the document right here so then all you have to do is you don't really have to do anything except um, unclick it and it'll go ahead and paste it there and then you have all this extra stuff here so all you want to do is grab that little box and the little arrows are gonna show up oh, hold on guys let this thing focus I don't know why it's not focusing hold on Okay, so this little box right here, all you want to do is just slide it over. And then you have your document. So then from here, you can um, print or you can adjust or you can add whatever else you want to here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Um, you just cl click on file and then you're going to go down here and you're going to go ahead and save. And then um, you will name it. I'm going to go ahead and put it into pictures, okay, because you have documents and you have pictures. I'm going to go ahead and put it into pictures, and then I am going to title it, and I'm going to put reading questions on here so that I remember that that's going to go under my homeschool folder. I'm going to go here to my homeschool folder. Where's my homeschool folder? Hold on. Hold on, guys. Right here. I have it under Cordova Homeschool. And so I just open up that, and I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, I already have it here where it says reading questions, and I'm going to go ahead and save it. Okay. So now this is already saved. So now if I wanted to go from here, I can just go ahead and exit it out. So I'm going to go ahead and click the little X right here. And I already have it saved. So now I'm going to go ahead and take it over to my homeschool site, my page, and I'm going to bring it over here to homeschool. 
And this is our homeschool page right here. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out a bunch of the different free online websites or free worksheets that I create or other people have created, you guys can go here to my Fun Kid um, Homeschool and Fun Kid Stuff. I used to have it named under Fun Kid Stuff, but then since a lot of people were coming over for homeschool, I just went ahead and added um, homeschool on there. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring it over here and post it so you guys can print it and just use it. So I'm going to go here to photo video. And then I'm going to go look for pictures. We're going to go to Cordova Homeschool. And I have all this stuff here that I have been using for the kids um, for the past couple of years that I've been doing homeschooling. And so remember we named the file reading questions. So that should pop up as soon as you put, you know, the first few letters on there. You click on that and that says PNG. So you can put anything that has PNG to Facebook. So you go to open and it'll go ahead and open it right here. And then right here, I just go ahead and let you guys know that you guys can go ahead and print it. Um, and I just put free printable and then I just go and post it and then you guys can just go there and you guys can um, print it for yourselves so this is how it looked before let me go ahead and show you the picture this is how it looked um, before it was landscape as you can see it's sideways um, I went ahead and adjusted it and I'll go ahead and show you the new one should be down here sometimes you need to refresh the page like I have to always refresh the page so that I can see it and here it is you have your reading questions and you can see that it's um, and uh, this is a portrait so there it is in case you guys want to go over there and click on it and then just, you know, print it. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Um, if you guys want to learn some more PowerPoint um, stuff, let me know. I do create a bunch of them guys I post them some of them I haven't posted them on here for you guys to print but if you guys want me to I can um, let me show you some of the ones that I've worked on hold on I've worked on several of them I, I like to create my own so I have this one this is church ones I have all these right here let me show you some other ones uh, certificate of completion I have these I make these for my daughter because she really loves my little pony so I make her these kind of um, certificates I did this one for her because when she came home she was in first grade and she was learning how to read and stuff so I created this so she can remember how to do I mean how to spell September and stuff I haven't done these anymore she's a little older now but I created all these little certificates for her she loved um, getting My Little Pony. This is for scripture time. This is another one. This one I think I did get from Google and I just went ahead and brought it over to PowerPoint so I could stretch it out and make it bigger. Um, yeah. This one, I think I did get it from Google, but I did add some of my own things to it. You can insert into other people's work. So, let me show you some other ones. Um, this is some church ones. Hold on. Um, let me see what's this. I did this one so that we could create some pens and we used hot glue for that. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but I did... Um, come to PowerPoint put all the characters that I wanted and then we just cut them out and then we applied hot glue on top and then um, well first they colored them and then we added the hot glue on top and we let them dry I do have a video on my YouTube channel if you guys want to see how to create those those are fun for the kids to do let me show you some more 
What other weapons? Um, let's see, what is this? Oh, this is my face paint um, projects. These are what I have on YouTube. I created these little thumbnails for my YouTube channel. Um, I have like my beauty, Gina Beauty stuff. I have this one, this Halloween scavenger hunt. I have this one, Halloween scavenger hunt, and it tells you what they need to go and find. This is fun. You can actually um, adjust this. It doesn't have to be for Halloween. You can actually put a bunny here and uh, put like an egg for Easter time, and then you can go and put a bunch of stuff like hide it. And you can put all the stuff you want them to go and find. And that's something fun for them to do. I need to create that one. That's actually a good thing to do. So I might do that one. This is the Halloween one I created. These are the book reports that I have. You can see right here. This is a book report. Um, it, tells, it tells them that they need to tell me their favorite part of the story. And then I adjusted it so I wouldn't waste so much ink. I created some new ones. This is a church one that I made. This one also for church. This is for scripture time. This is a reward chart. Um, let me go ahead and show you some more. Let's see. Um, I create a lot of stuff like for church and stuff, guys. For like scripture time, not church for scripture time. I've created all of these. I like took pictures outside with my camera and stuff. And then I just came here and I brought um, this. And you can see here where I put picture made by Regina Crystal Cordova. And then, yeah, it's, it's fun. I like doing, um, things like this or on Photoshop. This is my daughter here in the background. There's a lot of fun things you can do. I've done a lot of stuff with the kids. Okay. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? This is how I created my covers for my um, Gina Deals pages. I have that one, this one, that one. I think I have several other ones. So uh, PowerPoint is a lot of fun. If you guys have the time to check it out, you can make a lot of fun things for the kids. Um, or you can go to my page, like I said, and go and um, print them out. I did this one for my kids for their baptism. So this is the layout. I did that. I did this one. This PowerPoint is a lot of fun, guys. I definitely um, encourage you guys to go and check that out. Um, I am going to be uploading some more videos um, for you know the kids that are homeschooled right now that can't attend public school. So if you guys want to check out my page, don't forget it's called Homeschool and Fun Kid Stuff. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that or your kids will enjoy that. I can go over some of the free stuff um, that we have on there. Different websites that I've found that are helpful for kids. I'm trying to put like where you can get um, free free meals also. I did post right now about the Edinburgh ISD. Um, all the campuses should be able to give free meals. So yeah, some like ideas like this also where you can um, separate the snacks and stuff. I think this is a really great idea. This is not from, this is not mine, but I did share it. You can give them their snacks and you can have them put their cup there so that, that way you don't have to be washing cup after cup after cup or they're not in the kitchen wasting time looking for snacks. I think this is a really great idea right here. I also put different types of YouTube videos that we've made. Um, let's see, what else? Like right here, this is science time. You can teach them about this. 
I have other PowerPoint um, lessons. This is a typing lesson right here where you can go and um, have the kids learn to type. There's just a lot of free stuff that you can find on this page. So definitely check it out. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.